Hello, welcome to GTC 21. This is uh, Alexis Bartanian, CTO of TechViz, and you will get now a presentation about TechViz Cloud and Viz solution. This is a presentation by TechViz about streaming CAD content uh, into VR and showing how it boosts collaborative work in R&D using the cloud for VR streaming. A few words about TechViz. TechViz is a software editor based uh, out of uh, Paris, France. I've been uh, working on VR software since 2004, which is a long time for the VR industry. Uh, our R&D team includes 40 people um, based out, out of our R&D team uh, in Paris. And we have developed since 2004 a unique VR technology that's enabled to display directly VR CAD software Without any data conversion, we are compatible with more than 200 uh, of the most common uh, 3D software. And this enables to do VR without any data conversion. This is an industry-proven solution, which is used by one out of three Fortune 300 industrial companies, and which has seen a lot of traction uh, since then. So let me explain long-standing frictions to adoption of VR. Adoption of VR for um, industry, R&D in the industry, has been slow, even since the operation of the new generation of HMD since the Oculus Rift, as there are still a lot of friction into adoption of VR. First friction is hardware availability. So for VR, especially for industrial VR, you need to be able to visualize large CAD model, which requires high performance GPU. And this is actually the most uh, complicated thing to get available everywhere. Compatibility with existing 3D software, to have 3D software that uh, supports properly VR is still a challenge in this industry. And acceptance of VR to uh, integrate into the workflow is also the third uh, big friction uh, for adoption of VR. So we have the answer for this. Uh, the first answer to uh, bring hardware availability is CloudXR that enables to stream VR from where the uh, GPU is. Compatibility with 3D software is the key capability of TechViz. And acceptance, I mean, there are key changes in the way people need to work since the COVID and people having to work remotely. And that uh, that's helps accepting the solution as uh, the only way to make a uh, project uh, move forward. Key capability of TechViz is to be compatible with more than 200 3D software, which uh, are uh, from the main known editors like Dassault System for Katia, 3D Experience, SolidWorks, PTC, Creo, CreoView, Siemens, Team Center, Enix, and so on. Software from Autodesk like VRED or Revit, or Navisworks, and software for uh, GIS, uh, oil and gas visualization, post-processing of simulation with software like Aviso, and I would say very popular software or less known software, which can be used for key uh, use cases like uh, things like point cloud visualization as well. So now let me introduce Cloud and Viz. Cloud Enviz is a, a software solution developed by TechViz that enables interactive VR platform to uh, enable instant streaming of CAD content uh, in VR without any preparation. The future of collaboration in virtual reality has a name, Cloud Enviz. Cloud Enviz is an interactive VR platform that enables instant streaming of CAD content wherever your clients or collaborators are located. How does this work? The meeting organizer invites other participants to join the remote session. The host opens the CAD model in its native application and launches TechViz. The meeting invitees connect to the session from wherever they are, in a secure way, as there is no upload of the model itself. The 3D rendering is continuously calculated on cloud servers and is streamed to the participants who can interact with the 3D data. Cloud and Viz works with any display, tethered or wireless VR headsets, even standard laptop screens. Only the host has the model. 
participants don't even need the CAD software, nor high-end computer power. They can navigate the model and interact with others. Embark on the VR collaboration revolution with Cloud and Viz. So this is the Cloud and Viz architecture. Cloud and Viz works with uh, three parts in the architecture. Uh, the first part is a meeting host. So the meeting host is the workstation of the end users that own the 3D software and the 3D model. It could be Katia or Creo or Enix or Team Center. So we just need a workstation and that's where it loads the model and that's where the model is captured in real time. Then the rendering servers where the GPU are located, that could be either on premise in a corporate uh, server cloud or on the cloud hosted by um, cloud providers. All you need is high performance GPU from Nvidia there. And a participant, so the participant can either have a wireless HMD like the Oculus Quest or uh, other standalone HMD, a regular HMD connected to a workstation like the Vive Pro or even just a desktop that enables to participate to the meeting without VR for users who don't need VR to be in the meeting. And then the server render the 3D model and the 3D model, the image uh, calculated by the rendering server are streamed in real time to the participant, whether it's VR participant or desktop participant. Now, let me explain the security parameter of Cloud Envis. It's very important to know that the security perimeter of this architecture is not different to a VDI architecture, where typically the host that runs the 3D software is the only part uh, that really owns the software and the models. And just like a VDI with remote access, the servers actually just do rendering of OpenGL capture of the model, so they don't actually have the model. And the participants, they just receive streamed images. So once the participants have disconnected and on the server, the uh, instance of the renderers is gone, then there is no data on the server and no data on the participant. Data are only on the host. So an important thing is the bandwidth and latency requirement for the solution. Requirement uh, for this solution uh, as of uh, today is 60 megabit per second between the rendering server and the participant and 20 milliseconds. The uh, latency and bandwidth actually between uh, the host and uh, the rendering server or between each rendering server is actually not an issue as this is not a bottleneck uh, in, in the process. So actually you can imagine to have uh, different servers on different countries which the, the servers just need to be as close as possible in terms of latency of the participants, but the servers themselves can be very far from each other and very far from the host. So that's really a solution that can adapt easily to uh, multi-users located in different areas. So now let me explain the typical customer workflow. Hi, this is Hugo from TechViz. Today we're going to show you the workflow of a Cloud Envis session. I will be sharing a model remotely with my colleague Martin who is working from home today in Italy. Hi, Martin. Hi, Hugo. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Good. So for this demo, I've selected uh, Amazon servers in the Frankfurt instance because they are locally based, not too far from each other. And if Martin would have been working from the US or Asia, for, in for instance, I just would have to select a different rendering farm and he would have been able to, to join the meeting. So for this, for this uh, meeting, uh, Martin, you should have received an email with a different link to connect, right? Yes, that's correct. All right. So I think today you're, you're joining the meeting using uh, an Oculus Quest 2. Yes. So you'll need to, to select the standalone HMD um, uh, link. OK, so I'm clicking here. Yeah, you need to connect uh, your headset to, the, to your computer and then click on the link. OK. So now I've just clicked and it sounds like it's uh, successfully okay. installed. OK, perfect. So now, uh, or maybe you could share your point of view using the Oculus uh, Cast feature. OK. So let me share my view. OK, so I can put the headset on my head. All right. And then to start to, to check the connection with uh, your AWS server, 
You can just select the Cloud XR, uh, NVIDIA Cloud XR uh, icon from the, from the Oculus Quest. Okay. So I'm clicking on the Cloud XR client. Okay. And it sounds like I'm in the Steam VR home menu. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. So it means that you're receiving the, the flow from your uh, AWS server. And I will be able to start uh, the simulation. So to start the meeting on my side, I will start the 3D application. So today it's going to be Creo View from PTC. I will open a model. So it's, uh, it's going to be the space shutter. And at the same time, while the model is opening, I can start the, the take this interface. So I need to select this and then start the take this controller. So the take this controller will be, will be the, the way to, to start the VR meeting. So I will display what's happening in my headset. So today on my side, I will be using the HTC Vive Pro. So as everybody knows, and then to start the meeting, I just need to click on the VR icon and then click on the model in the application. So instantly you see that the model is, is displayed in, in the headset and I will see my colleague as an avatar. So Martin is connected. Yes, I'm in the space shuttle right now. Okay, nice. So you have access to all the features that you you have in your take this license, so you can perform um, a measurement. You can clip the model. You can you can uh, access to all the features that uh, others that you have in your license. And yeah, perfect. So oh, you took a measurement, so that's nice. Okay. Okay, perfect. So as you've seen, the workflow was pretty easy. The I can connect remotely with uh, multiple colleagues. So today it was only Martin, but uh, it could have been other people uh, at the same time. And uh, I just shared a link with my colleague. He joined the meeting. And, and then we were all together uh, in the same VR environment from only one application. The, the, only, the, the very important point is that I only have one instance of the 3D application running on my side, and I can share it with my colleague uh, wherever they are using the AWS servers and the Cloud XR solution. So thanks for joining today. If you have any question, if you need anything, you can just uh, join uh, or take this website online and we will be glad to answer your question. Thanks. Now let me show you a few typical use cases uh, we can imagine. First case is remote assistance where a machinery supplier um, in Germany is supporting a customer in Japan so the machinery supplier actually is the one who um, has the CAD model, he knows uh, about the technical issues, and the end user only has an Oculus Quest, and that's all he needs. So in this typical use case, the um, supplier is going to load his 3D model, his 3D CAD model on his workstation, then rendering happens on the cloud, and the participant will uh, we'll connect directly to a collaborative session where they can uh, share pointer, um, they can uh, show things, the participants can uh, move some parts and see, um, see it moving at the same time for everybody. And with this, they can exchange around the model without any special preparation. And the servers are running as close as possible to the uh, end user uh, so that uh, the latency is minimized. Let me show you a second use case, distant project review. Use case two, in this case, uh, it will be a collaborative session where a project leader is holding a meeting with both local and overseas stakeholders. So the meeting us in, in the US this time and is the only one to have the CAD model and he invites uh, some participants, one participant with a laptop in Illinois, another uh, participant with a Quest HMD in Wisconsin, and a third participant which was actually in France, and also with a Quest, all connected by a Wi-Fi or a 5G if it's available. Then, one of the rendering servers is actually hosted in a cloud server in Paris, close to the Paris participant, and the two others 
are uh, actually in the US in a server farm which is located close to uh, Chicago. And with this architecture, uh, actually, everybody is able to get the right uh, VR uh, experience and sharing the model again in real time. The third use case is remote assistance from home. So actually working from home uh, has been really boosted, unfortunately, by the COVID and people need to resolve new challenges. Uh, one which is allowing people um, to do a project review on mockups while uh, being remotely. And with a cloud uh, VR streaming, it's actually totally possible. And we have already uh, some customer experiencing that. So the use case would be typically meeting host is still a work session running at, inside the company network, but actually the worker works uh, in his home and connects remotely to his uh, personal work session remotely uh, by VDI. And with this, he can, he can directly uh, start the 3D software in his VDI. And Cloud and Vs actually capture um, the 3D model uh, from those 3D software from the VDI and stream the images uh, to his home uh, by uh, the Cloud XR uh, streaming solution. So with this, actually, the end user can visualize his model in VR from his home without having any copy of the model, without having access of the 3D software. So thank you for your attention. I hope the use cases are familiar to you. And uh, if you have uh, any more questions about uh, this presentation, uh, feel uh, free to contact us at www.techviz.net. Thank you.